Yo, what's good? It's your boy Sully. You know, shout out to all my old subs that stayed subscribed when I was using the iPhone camera. I got a new camera. So the first video I ever did was my Margello Futures, the calf here. It was a terrible video. So I'm re-uploading that with the new cameras. I'm going to test it out. Uh, of course, some things are going to be changing here as I learn how to use the camera better. Videos are going to be better, but let's jump into this real quick. I don't want this to take too long. That's what that says. Hopefully, camera focused. We got the numbers. Mason, Martin, Margello on it. Paris also. Here we go right here. To us the side. You can see the tag. Hopefully, it focused. And let's jump into the sneakers. This is what the inside of the box looks like. Some of you guys are real weird about that type of stuff. Um, the box, nothing special. You got this came with this, so look at that real quick. Empty box, calf hair. Another tag, real fur. Okay, so, since the box is done, we can put this to the side and get into the sneakers. It came with two dust bags. Not one, but two. White, nothing special. It's really a cloth. It's not a super high quality or anything, anything fancy, but it's nice that they threw this in here. These are the sneakers right here. Which I'll show off like this for the camera. This how it looks like this. So the bottom, as you see the soles. These grips is nice. What's funny is I wore these a few times after I shot that last video and Margiela sneakers the soles is real the bottom soles is uh really weird they seem not to get dirty compared to the rest of the designer sneakers also look at the bottom of this and as I say that there's some sort of rock right there but now I can make videos to show you how to clean so I can make use of both hands okay so here we go leather on the insoles straps these are stickers that come with it I just I'm just lazy I never removed them leather on the insole on um, fur on the outsole part of you I'm saying insole and also leather on the inside fur on the outside as you see because this has been worn down it's probably hard to see but this stamped with the Margiela sign you can see the numbers it may be a little difficult it's in a size 43 and a half Right there. I brought these from Neiman Marcus. Let's check on here. Yeah, this is better. You'll probably be able to see this one. And that's what that looks like in there. If, oh, for those that are wondering why is the paper stuff up in this, it's to keep the structural integrity of the shoe. It's how you prevent creases. But I'm gonna make a uh, shoe cleaning video soon and how to make your sneakers not crease. Towards the sides of this, you have the laces. Margiela sneakers, I never tie the laces at all. I just leave them hang out. I loosen them, and I just leave them to hang out like this. I really only need the strap. 43 and a half, which should be the equivalent to a 10 and a half. It still was too big. I could wear a 10 in Margiela. I can also wear a uh, 9 and a half, but I'm a 10.5 in Jordans or something. to that 10.5 US? So what the back looks like. This fur is actually really nice. It's a really nice fur. I'm gonna break these out since the weather is actually getting nice. It's a good shoe. Get a look at the side. The back. These look like this. It's a real good shoe for the summer. It retailed for uh, a little bit over a thousand. As I said, I got this at Neiman Marcus. When I got this, they was running a promotion where if you spend $1,000, you got a $300 gift card. So for me, that was fantastic value. And I, that was a few months ago. It hasn't even been a year yet that I've owned these. But it's a great pickup. It's Margiela. It's a designer. You know, it's uh, the quality is really good. These things seem to hold up for a long time. But understand the sizes because as I said, I'm a ten and a half US, but I can wear a ten in this, I can wear a nine point five in this. European size is eight. It's it's too it's not uh like any there's a science to it because everybody's foot is different. 
You know, some people have narrow feet, some people have massive destruct feet. So you're going to have to figure out for yourself. I can only give you foundation to it. I'm going to have to fix this because it wasn't properly in the box. And as you see, this is like this, but that's what it is. This is Mason Martin Margiela. It's your boy Sully. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the new camera and about the sneakers. Thanks for watching. Peace.